Hello there guys, how's it going? This is Matt Tomato right here. Welcome back to some more Europa Universe Size 4. This is another part of the Let's Play as Korea, in which we definitely need a new Korea. Uh, in the last part, Ming decided that it doesn't want to be our friend anymore. Lame. Um, and we are about to go to war with Uzbek. Uh, Royal Mary Retreat Shanghai has ended. Really? Uh, I guess we'll get that back then. Might as well. Mangazay has become self-sustaining. Some top prestige gained from that as well. That's nice. Um, so, we need to bring this army south. So you come to here, and you come to here. Right, so we're going to go in with uh, about 35,000 men. Uh, and of course we're going to... Um, right, move those guys into there. Um, we have our col colonial stuff over here going on as well, so we'll hold back on the colonies for a second whilst we're fighting here, because the extra troops I think are going to be handy. Um, I'm hoping that general doesn't die in the meantime, to be honest. Pirate sighted. Well, you're on your way through there anyway. Okay, good. So hopefully that means that that fleet will now protect a little bit more of what's going on over there. Come on down, hurry up. Right, okay, uh, so Uzbek's army is down here. Very tempted to actually just move straight in onto that. Um, yeah, you're holding a bad province there. So, that is... Is that a river crossing? It looks like one. Um, right. And I'm hoping that's your entire army. Whoops, no, wrong one. Uh, that's the score comparison one. I was looking at our score comparison, but uh, let's get down to. Whoops, I selected a map node back in there. Um... It is. That's your entire army. Okay, well. Um... Let's go in for a jump. So declare war. Uh. What are we going to take here? Uh, I think we want Tayuman. It's going to be a good one. Let's take that one. Or should we... Well, we have a mission to take Otsuyaki over here, so maybe we should make that. But then Tayuman would be an easy one to move into and occupy, I think. Or Sibir. Actually, yeah, Sibir would be an easy one to go in and occupy. Okay, so Yarkin is going to join in on the opposing side. Uh, what is your technology? Same as mine. Okay. So... What am I doing? Uh, declare war for Sibir. Charge. Right, you go in there. And you go in here. And we're going to sort of walk down here with this uh, 11k stack. Maybe I'll split it in half and do some carpet sieging. Uh, your morale is not up to full top there, that's good. So when we went in, you didn't have maximum morale. Nice. Uh, military access from the Timurids. Have you declared a fight here as well? You sure have. Okay. We may actually come into uh, contact with, um, with the Timurids pretty soon, actually. Uh, so, detach a siege, walk in there. Detach a siege, uh, maybe not detach a siege, because Yarkin's army is coming across there. But then the Timurid army might be coming in here as well, but the Timurids might get smashed up. Uh, which is quite interesting, because um, uh, they would um, lose some land there, or something like that. Or they'll, they'll certainly lose uh, a few battles. We'll go in for a siege here, though. Uh, we've got the cannons. Uh, we haven't got the siege pip general, I'm afraid. But uh, Oh, there you are. Like you're coming in here to well, to jump on you at the prospect of not quite that much morale. So I jump on you and hope. I haven't really got the numbers there, but Oh no. Um Oh, bad idea. I think we messed up there. Uh, 
because although um, the somebody else, no guy's army came in there and actually helped us out with the fight. Uh, so nice job there. Okay, uh, move across to here then. Because these are provinces that I want. Changatai peasants crossed our border. Really? Oh, okay. Right, we'll stay there then and we'll... Uh, oh, we completely seized that out, totally. Um, let's seize this fort here then. Uh, the reason being that we want to seize the forts, because that's worth more war score. And then we'll just sort of carpet siege down this way. Uh, also, it stops the Timurids from sieging those particular forts, for now anyway. Uh, they can seize them again later on, but uh, yeah, for the moment. Where did uh, your army actually go? Oh, you retreated to here. Okay. Wow. Uh, yes, I'm glad to see that Ming is... Uh, ooh, Ottomans. I forgot about you. Um, interested in anything? Uh, what about a royal marriage? No, not really. Maybe as we get closer, they might be interested. Ming absolutely hates me right now. I'm waiting for them to declare me as a rival. Uh, if they do, then we will uh, respond in the same manner. Uh, <laughs> it looks like Uzbek's army ran into the peasants. <laughs> and they lost as well. <laughs> right, won the siege. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's just keep walking around over here and causing some havoc. Ming cancelled the military access. Of course they did. Do we still have our royal marriage with them? No. Changatai no guy. Okay. Good. Uh, internal conflicts in Ayir. Okay. Mm, I'm going to stay away from the... You know what? Uh, I'm just going to move this army back. I do not think we really need to uh, keep this army kicking around. Um, it's a bit risky, uh, jumping in there like that. But uh, there is a, an army from Nogai over here. Uh, your technology is really poor. Uh, looks like everyone seems to be declaring war against Uzbek, although that's Perm. Uh, and of course Perm is uh, the vassal of Nogai, so that makes sense. So Uzbek must be in about three wars, two wars. Oh, no guy, Perm, and the Timurids are both uh, are all allied. Okay. Um, lose one mercantilism. Uh, I'll take some diplo power hit. Uh, that's actually quite bad. That you're allied with the Timurids. Yeah, because if I attack Perm, uh, that means that no guy is called in, and they're called in as a co-belligerent, so they no guy can call in their own allies. Um, which is actually a bit brutal. Oh well. Um. You might as well walk in down here then. Uzbek's being wrecked. Uh, yeah. Don't really need my forts up. Converted those heretics, that's nice. Uh, hopefully that means those rebels disappear. Yes, they have. Good. Uh, so now we're just converting a bunch of Sunni provinces. Uh, so Agan is going to be the first one. Uh, it takes a long, long time to convert these ones, though. Okay, your war enthusiasm is low. Uh, yeah, we're going to... Certainly like to take the top two. Right. And... No, we don't need to do that. Um... I think what we'll do with this guy is we'll come over here. Oh yeah, it's not next to one of our cores. That's annoying. Okay, um, come over here and wait, and then you can uh, then move into colonize. Right, we'll just let the uh, war score tick right here uh, a little bit whilst we wait for our men to get out of the nation. Uzbek's being smashed. Totally. How is Ming's rebels doing? Scotland started a war against England. 
Yeah, so if Ming loses the Mandate of Heaven and whatnot, and uh, screws up totally in terms of um, its rebels and loses a bunch of land, then they might suddenly become a little bit more friendly. Right, our men are officially out of the nation. Uh, so at the turn of the year, then, uh, we shall sue for peace. Right, so uh, I definitely want the top two. What else do I want here? We'll just work our way down. See, that's really dodgy if I do that. And something like that, maybe. Could easily take more. But uh, let's go ahead and nab all your money. Any chance you can revoke some cores on some of my land? Yeah, you're not really willing to do too much there. Revoke a couple of cores, maybe. Um, you're not willing to do that either. Release a nation, but uh, nah, I think that's fine. It means the truth to them doesn't last too long. Uh, yeah, don't, can't really break any significant alliances there, but uh, okay, send demand. There we go. So, yearly prestige, manpower recovery speed. Our prestige is wicked, uh, absolutely brilliant. So, 20, 21, 21, 19. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's call these then. Uh, I'm assuming we need a core here first before we can do any colonizing. The answer is no. Okay. Uh, this is the valuable one though. Let's send a uh, colonist to here then and start walking around because the other two colonists are going to be nearly done. Nareem is nearly done. Uh, which one is that? Oh, that's the other one. There we go. Uzbek is no longer a valid rival either. So Nareem is finished. So then, we're colonizing this one, so let's go ahead and colonize this one as well. Uh, move you to here, and just keep on moving forward. Uh, right, so rivals then. Uh, of course we're going to announce Japan. Um, I won't announce anybody else just yet. But uh, it could very well be that the Timurids become a rival. And you've got a good amount of allies, and we don't. So, and that's where I wouldn't mind the Ottomans. Uh, yeah, distance between borders. Yeah, it's a shame that. Wouldn't mind some local allies around here. I don't think we're going to get very many. Muscovy would be interested. Well, that's a weird one. We have no friends, so it makes sense. I'd be interested in the alliance. The technology level is 15 as well. Uh, mm, okay. So Perm's Liberty Desire might go up here. Because it's way stronger than No Guy is. Ooh, keep an eye on that. Okay, cool. So some Siberian Separatists in Tuyum and Iritesh. Um, so that's here and here. there then. And let's move this 1k stack into here. Let's join up with that. That'll be fine. Right, missions. Uh, just the colonized mission. Uh, we can take our military, but I think we'll wait. We'll definitely wait for that. I'll be interested to see what the Timurids and Nogai take over here. Hmm, some particular risks rising up in the area as well. Um, yeah, you're in the state of Irtesh. Okay, let's make you into a state. And let's do some coring here. There we go. Let's make that a state. Central Siberia. Uh, that's probably not going to be worth a lot, I don't think. Siberia is not a core anyway. Okay. That might help uh, this local area. A general is dead. Oh, that's our big guy. Oh, that's a shame. Um, Alright, keep me to here. 
And hopefully we'll get some relatively decent replacement. Uh, yeah, he's not too bad, I suppose. Um, could have possibly thrown the king into that, but uh, yeah, it's okay. Um, okay, national decision is available. Anti-Christian edict. Okay. Um, neighboring country is in Christian religion group. Okay. Missionary strength. Better relations over time. All right, let's do it. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we have borders with Perm now, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, they've got some pretender rebels. All right, we're being attritioned here. Um, Tayman, Iritesh, Nadim. Yeah, uh, the supply limit's not great here. Just quite poor. Um, I guess we'll just risk it then and just stand here and then move on anybody who uh, comes up with any trouble. Um, move a couple of guys over to that. Seems a little bit overkill that. Oh, yes, we have. Um, this army to merge as well. Uh, we don't have any separatism over here anymore, though. Again, yeah. So the question is, do I bring this army across or not? Or do I keep it relatively central? It's a bit of a waste of time, but let's stand it in the capital. Uh, okay, Ming is breaking up a little bit. Good. Fantastic. Okay. So, do you hate me as much anymore? Uh, you still hate me. You still want two of my provinces, but... Yeah. Okay, the more Ming breaks up, the better. You may actually have some friends around here. Like Jin, for instance. Like, you're all relatively... You're improving relations with me. Uh, vassalization? No. Certainly a raw marriage. Uh, ooh, getting 100 population. You know what? Let's get a raw marriage over here. That's going to be fine. What about mean down here? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Hopefully more nations break away. Cool. Uh, ooh, should we... Let's draft some citizens, that'll be fine. Yeah, don't need to spend any. Province defected. Uh, so a province defected to Changtai. That's this one. <laughs> That's what you get for flaming... Uh, messing around with me and deciding that you didn't want to uh, be my friend anymore. That's what you get. Things cock up for you. Okay, um, ooh, okay, we're spending a lot of army, uh, we're spending a lot on corruption, that's the reason why we've lost a bit of income there, uh, and of course we do have our three colon colonizing as well, three colonies building up. Don't know why I've still got a diplomat in Ming, maybe just to reduce the amount of trouble. Holy cow, okay, um, for jeepers. Um, Golden Horde and the Timurids. What about an alliance over here? The thing is, you're all primitive compared to me. That's the thing. The only thing I've got going for me, apart from Perm, if Perm can break away, I'd be very happy if they did. Kiva. That's one of the ones down here. That's this fella. You've declared war on Uzbek. Sure, buddy. You go ahead. <laughs> no problem. Uh, technology. Military. Yes, we'll take it. Asian mass infantry. Let's go for that. We may want to westernize at some point, though. I think that'll be good. Uh, why are we suddenly losing money here? A lot of corruption. 
Unbalanced research. Damn. Uh, well, if we can pick up our Diplo and Admin, then we'll be fine. So. And we've just got a bunch of cores in play as well, so overextension will decrease. Which will allow me to keep the monies nice and high. There we go, we're back in the profits again. Overextension was a big problem there. Uh, looks like Berezov is nearly done for colonising. Uh, Nadim. Well, we're, we're pretty close to Nadim over here. Sibir as well. Yeah. Hmm. Hoping that extra missionary strength is going to help. Imagine if Kiva took a bunch of stuff here as well. The thing is, like, I could then start fabricating claims on Uzbek over this way and then take these lands, which are still here. And, you know, I could take these. But now I have other options. Like, I could attack no guy. The Golden Horde and the Timurids together. That's quite, uh... Quite threatening. Um... Yeah, we'll go in there for an attack. 2 one, two, one, two, one. Okay. Hopefully... Uh, we might get a crossing penalty. Yeah, we will get a crossing penalty, actually. Uh, that might be risky. Uh, we've dealt with them quite well, though. We've just upgraded our troops as well, which helps. Uh, so let's go ahead and sort that out. And then we need to go and deal with these ones as well. Decent shock there. Any chance we can roll a better leader? Taiban is quite terrible. Uh, where are you? Taiban, you know what? No leader. Let's kick you. And let's see who we can roll. That's a better! Okay, uh, let's make the switch here then. Pick this guy up. Charge. Okay. And then put the slightly more balanced guy. Internal conflicts in Ming. <laughs> Brilliant. Hysterical. Okay. This guy's willing to uh, get an alliance with me. Um, so how useful that's going to be. Um, It's a local ally, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how useful that's going to be. The only problem is if he does uh, decide to... If we do decide to ally up with these guys, uh, they'll call me into wars against Ming. I don't really want to fight them just yet. Equal tech, mind you. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to fight them just yet. Uh, funnily enough, uh, the uh, Kazakh separatists have crossed the border into Uzbek. That's quite funny. <laughs> uh, it's going our way at the moment, which is good. Uh, we'll take the spy network construction. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I really want an alliance with the Ottomans, though. That's something I really want. They're not really sure about me yet, though. Uh, yeah, they're not really sure what to think of me. We're not close enough to them yet. The perm could get... Oh, you're currently being annexed. Okay. So, not a lot we can do about that. Right, Diplo. Good. Uh, that should take away some of the unbalanced research. It has a little bit, but we need the admin one next. So. Uh, if you cross the border, yeah, you're not going to get any... Uh... Is that right? So you could venture down here, or you could come in to attack my army. It's going to be one or the other. Uh, ooh, trade efficiency. Nice. Yeah, you're coming in down here. That's fine. Gotta be aware of this. Okay, uh, we can fabricate a claim on Uzbek. Uh, oh no, we need 25. Okay. Uh, Death of Spies. I would like to claim for some of the stuff down here. Uh, although it's not Western Expansion. But then, to be fair, maybe I actually want to... Uh, to keep moving west here, because otherwise no guy might start taking it. Uh, or the Timurids, for that matter. So, yeah, we've got to be careful here. I have no friends, so... 
Perm's actually struggling with some Pretender Rebels here, and that might impact the uh, annexation process there. Compared to the Heretics of Agan, that's nice. Um, yeah, let's keep some of these, uh, these ones coming in here. Right, recuperate that. Uh, I would laugh if those Rebels went and jumped on the Uzbek stack right there. That would be funny. Okay, so we lost the treasurer. Uh, so he was the guy. Oh, the missionary strength. 723. Can't afford that. Ugh, we can't afford it. Because that'd be so good. I mean, the national unrest, we don't really need it. But it's, it's the admin points that we do need. And all of a sudden, have a look at this, right? All of a sudden, Ming likes me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll certainly like to get a raw marriage there. Uh, alliance? In the end it'll be them that breaks it. So, because I'm not going to break it. Certainly. Alright, yeah. Let's go and get the Alliance of Ming back. There we go. Uh, so you still have a bunch of noble rebels. And then I will park my diplomat back over there. There you go. Right. Uh, so I'd like to announce no uh, no guys are a, a rival, but I can't. Yeah. Right. So let's come over here then. Uh, Uzbek uh, fabricate claim. Uh, we have a claim on Kerry, so let's go for Kipchak. What a nice name. And you know what? I'm going to announce the Timurids as a rival. Bang. Uh, Ming used to hate you as well, so... I'm wondering. Because what I could do... Yeah, see, this is like a, an alliance chain here. Timurids, No Guy, and Golden Horde are all friends with each other. Um... So that's going to be a difficult one. Okay, they crossed the border again. Um, let's go and take them on then. Ideas, admin. Yeah, we kind of need the tech right now. Berezov is now self sustaining, which is superb. Yep, 